Okay, so here's my kit from Guitar Kit World. Um, there's many ways that you could finish this, paint it, stain it, dye it, but I chose to dye it and I chose to do it in an inexpensive way and a lo locally sourced with locally sourced products. I'm just sticking to the way that I do things normally. I like to buy things locally so that if I change my mind or if I run out of a product that I can just go down to the store and buy it. And I also like to do things inexpensively to show others that you can participate in a hobby or, you know, do some woodworking, do some guitar building with inexpensive products and still get fairly decent results. I'm not saying it's the best way to do it or the only way. It's just the way that I like to do things to show others. So the first thing that I did was to make some homemade grain filler. I looked in every store uh, locally to me that would sell something like this and there wasn't any grain filler. So I tried my best to make my own and what I did was use regular wood filler that I bought at Ace Hardware and I watered it down with the black writ dye, the same dye that I would be using to stain the guitar. Um, I just got my consistency from watching um, other videos on YouTube and especially a video from the uh, Paul Reed Smith factory. This little sander here is um, from Harbor Freight and I believe it was about $20. Um, I also got some of the sanding discs at a, I think Home Depot because there weren't any finer grits at uh, Harbor Freight. So this is the writ dye that I bought uh, at Target. It's also available at all craft stores. Um, I bought it at Target because it was a little bit cheaper than the craft store. Um, these were three dollars and fifty cents a bottle, and it's a huge, it's a huge bottle. Um, I probably only used like a tenth of the bottle. Um, so I bought red, yellow, and black. And the black I just used for the uh, grain filler and for the body and um, the neck I'm just going to use the red the red on the back of the body and neck and the yellow I just blended it in a little bit on the front I didn't really try to do a sunburst I was just trying to blend the colors a little bit just to make it lighter and I always use um, t-shirts use t-shirts I use that for buffing and polishing and here I'm using it for to rub the stain into the guitar. The yellow was very faint um, looking, very pale, so I end up just pulling some of the red from the sides eventually just to get it more orange-like. Uh, there wasn't any orange available locally, so that, that's why I'm just blending the two to get try to get that little bit more of an orangish tint.
So after I did the uh, water-based dye, I added boiled linseed oil to the finish. I, I'm not sure why I did that or where I got the idea from, but I just figured that it would help seal the, uh, the dye a little bit better and maybe soak it in. Um, I did plan on clear coating it, which I will do, but I, um, I just thought this would help bring it out a little bit. So I did this on the front and back and on the back of the neck. And this is boiled linseed oil that I bought a long time ago. Um, it was probably $10 for a can, but I'm not even sure. But it's it's like still almost full, and I've used it on tons of projects. So this, this is after a few coats already of clear. Um, the can that I'm using there is Duplicolor. Uh, perfect match clear. I bought that at Napa Auto Parts. This is something I already had and there was a little bit left in the can so I decided to use it. Um, and then later on I'll finish this up with uh, Rust-Oleum lacquer which I had already also. But um, they mixed fine together. I know some people have trouble with paints but this, the, these two mixed together well. There was no issues at all. Here's the front and back after clear coating but before wet sanding. For wet sanding I just have a block of wood um, and various grits from AutoZone of sandpaper. I started at 800 and went up to 3000 I believe. This one is um, a rubbing, rubbing compound which I don't always use but this one I just wanted to get a little more uh, bit you know buffed out before I did the uh, polishing the polishing compound also is in a small can I think it's called number seven and that's the white stuff you'll see next and here I'm just finishing it up with a coat of turtle wax it's um, also from the auto parts store Here you can see the shine is pretty good for um, doing everything by hand. Of course, with a buffer and some better quality products, you could get a better shine than I did here. Um, but I like showing things done by hand with inexpensive products. Um, you can also see some of the grain um, showing through the uh, texture of the grain, which also would probably be better with a uh, you know, pre-made grain filler, but I'm happy with the results and it's going to be a great instrument to have around. <laughs> 